Hello and welcome to my channel. This is your mid-month reading for November for all the signs. If you would like something specific, please do check the link below and book in a time with me. So we start with Aries. Aries, we do have something to celebrate. Now this can be a joy, uh, a win, a success uh, financially or at work. This could be a jubilation around the office due to a big win. Uh, this could be that you are... Um, craving more creativity and you find it. In love, this is a honeymoon period. This is something to celebrate. Uh, births, christenings, um, weddings. Um, there's a harvest that's come in. It is an emotional card. So this is uh, Scorpio, Pisces mm. or Cancer. But this is about having that win or having that uh, joy for you um, for the rest of November. Now, Vanessa is an earth sign and she is asking you to make a decision. Now, that decision uh, is uh, about your future and what you're going to do next. So perhaps this uh, money is uh, bringing more options to you than you first thought. Perhaps this person is bringing you more options than you first thought. But there is a win, there is harvest, something's to celebrate, and you're making a decision around that. So now we're going to go to Taurus. Taurus, you've got the Eight of Cups. So Eight is your intimacy and it's your other people's uh, resources, other people's support. It's your... Uh <coughs> Taxes, it's your insurance, it's your government agencies, all those other things, are other people's money supporting. Now this is emotionally a cup card, a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, but it has also got an element of Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo around this. And you are leaving the emotional past behind. Uh, you've stacked it all up, you've acknowledged it, you've got that realization and you're leaving it behind. Now that could be with a relationship, that could be with family or siblings or children, this could be about work. Um, now this could also be about someone who is going overseas or going on their travels or is going to be away from home and knowing that the home will be looked after. This is also about making progress or being in a transition period at work. This is also being at the right place at the right time uh, for work. Um, being on the road at the right time, being in the place at the right time for you with your finances, work and study. Uh, this is also about um, facing fears and uh, leaving what was emotionally holding you back behind um, and moving forward. Your emotional card is a star telling you don't settle, uh, you deserve the best, reach for the stars, don't let negativity um, stop you or uh, stop the progress. There might have been an element uh, where, because you're moving on emotionally, so someone had been nurturing, someone needed that nurturing Taurus, um, and now you find that you are pumped and ready to go, you feel stronger emotionally. So let's go on to Gemini. Gemini, you have the Queen, the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is saying that there is a second chance. Uh, that second chance is coming in whatever it is to do with your uh, life. Now, the Queen of Wands is Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries um, for you, Gemini. And this is, if you think of the um, pride, because it's covered here in, in, in the pride, this is about your roots. It's about your... Uh, being proud. This is about your family. This is what's important. And there's an intuition here. There's also rulings going in your favor to do with your family, your finances, or your study. This is prospects blooming it uh, financially um, in relationships and with studies. Um, this is uh, Gemini being with a fire sign and giving it a second go, or if you're giving it a second go to try dating again, uh, you'll meet a fire sign, which is good. Uh, for those that are established or uh, couples, there might be an announcement or finding out that you're pregnant as well. Um, and there's an intuition around this. Uh, there's, there's something to do with authorities and something to do with second chances, rulings going in your favor and using your intuition. There's also uh, prospects and investments blooming as well. You have two cards. First of all, your marriage and your relationships is going to have the help of the angels. Daniel's helping you uh, with any fears or any communication. So perhaps that's why there's a second chance. Um, and also we've got Ray, which is about, you know, migraines. 
scattered thoughts, being overwhelmed, obsessing, thinking too much, Gemini. Um, and this is saying you need to stop thinking, you need to release, uh, rest, you need meditation, you need to stop those thoughts and to look after you. So now we're going to go on to Cancer. Cancer, you have the King of Pentacles, and this is um, a earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and he is younger, and he is charming, and he likes things done his own way. He's also experienced, and he's also got a lot to offer. In relationships, this person might be offering you the future um, because of the seeds, so offering you um, love, or, you know, this is a general reading, so this could be a female can uh, Cancer. Um, but this is also about avoiding power struggles, mind games, and domineering behavior. In work and finance, this is about respect for your boss and getting respect from your boss. This is about charismatic um, confidence uh, in your decisions and your uh, status or title, uh, maybe uh, blooming. Uh, this is also about strategy, playing the long game to get that title, uh, to gain that um, accreditation, that award. At home, this is about being a mentor, being a leader, being on top of, being an example with a physical example, uh, a financial example, because this person, um, also I just heard someone at home could be wanting money, but someone's very stingy with their money, they're very set in their ways, um, and very bossy and maybe even stingy. Um, so being an example for the family, being a leader, being strong, being firm, um, and something to do about the food. So you might be uh, saving for a, a house or saving for IVF or in communications with your partner about having child. One or the other might be wanting it faster than the other, or one might be pressuring the other. Something to do about your, uh, could be about your investments as well. Something to do with laying root, legacy, power struggles, and making that decision. Uh, your angels, messages from the angels, Archangel Raphael, which is about physically healing, physically providing that resources that you need, um, cancer, feeling better, feeling stronger, and having the help that you need. So let's go on to um, Leo. Leo, you have the Ace of Swords, and so this is, well, you also got Serena, so this is abundance. So Serena is, I am here to give you that abundance, whether it be resources, love, uh, help, or support. Now she says, I'm giving you that, and that God is in charge of how that will happen, but specifically she mentions abundance and money and wealth. So in your relationships, this is um, having clarity, having a reality check, um, and not settling for less than you deserve. So there may be an ending or there may be um, you deciding, yes, this is what I want with this person. If this is about love, there could be a um, infidelity issue or deciding between two, whether that's two people or two situations. Uh, so you, Leo, uh, this could be with a Aquarius Gemini Libra. Someone could be offering you this, and you might, or you're offering it to them, and uh, you're not sure. You're, you're not. Your, your decision is, do I settle? Uh, now, there's two uh, paths to go with this uh, decision. This, uh, and one is bearing fruit faster than the other, but they both have good outcomes. There's also um, six things that run off this, so flow on effect. In uh, work, finance, and study, this is you. You've got the ideas. You've been thinking about it. Now it's time to put it into action. Um, this is about you know not overdoing the research, not overdoing the creativity. To put it into action now, you are ready. At home, this is about being clear at home about what you expect, being clear at home about the rules, being clear at home about the truth, being clear at home um, and having a talk at home um, because there has been some rocky path. Um, already and there's a new opportunity due to you have had an enlightenment you've got clarity you've got fresh new beginnings you're focused and someone is offering you a way out or an opportunity and the Serena is telling you that that is going to be abundant so now we'll go on to uh, Virgo Virgo you've got a yes 
You're going to be hearing about it soon. This is spontaneous good luck and good fortune. And it's about making a decision about the future and the focus. Now, if we want to ask what this is for, this is um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It is a yes card and it is about balance and it's to do with the Libra. Now, this is about mentoring. It's about uh, creating that balance with the given flow and charity. It's also about providing. Um, so someone may help you out with uh, money. Someone may help you out with help. Uh, tangible practical help or uh, advice um, and at work there's, gener there's generosity there there is that help whether you're giving it or somebody else is giving it and in love this is a yes card this is an equal balance and not being stingy with your time or they are uh, and giving each other equal share this is about messages so you might find that you hear something quick quick um, succession quick delivery quick everything um, and the this is about finding balance at work with your finances, your study. Um, this is about making a move um, and that will have quick succession. In love, this is about accusations or um, to do with intimacy or uh, other people and social media. The full card is a major arcana card. So this is brand new. So this might be brand new love or brand new fresh start in love. This is about spontaneity. This is about transition. This is moving. This is about having that luck for you. And again, this is a fresh start and not settling. Your drawing virtue messages from the angels card, Virgo, is Rochelle. Again, we're dealing with this Libra. The Libra and you are making a decision to do with the heart. Um, and this is about deciding what your worth is and the future and prosperity is coming for you now so after uh, Libra we have uh, Sagittarius sorry Libra Libra you're feeling um, lost you're feeling grief you're feeling rejected you've got scattered thoughts the swords are about your thoughts your obsessions seeking the truth um, scattered thoughts um, and the 10 is about success. So this is about being blue, obsession, not being able to stop the thoughts that's keeping you awake at night. Now this could be with a love relationship. This could be about pins and needles to do with finances or study, waiting on, an obsession, uh, on a decision, obsessing about work. Uh, obs maybe this is a creative block for some of you. At home, this is someone who is physically or mentally unwell. So for you, Libra, this is about... Um, these thoughts are, are stopping you and blocking you from making the decision that you need to be able to move forward. And there are resources there for you. It's, it's the, the stop and smell the roses. And there you go. Mystique is telling you don't take no for an answer. Uh, expect miraculous solutions to appear. Now I feel like, because this is the end of November and I know that there's a Mercury Retrigo coming up, I feel like um, you will have the news that you need by the start or during Mercury Retrograde. So let Libra, we are now moving on to uh, Scorpio. Two cards for you. We have uh, new babies, new arrivals, new pets um, in the family home. And this is going to bring brand new energy that's going to be absolutely beautiful. And we also have Layla who is looking within. She's taking care of herself. She's having one-on-one -on -one time to think about what her future holds and how she's feeling now and where the past has come, um, Libra. And again, you've got this card here which is saying you've laid one thing to rest or you, you've made a decision or you've, you're not so worried about that anymore, but you've got three things piercing your mind. Now this is a four card, so this is about your roots, your domestic life, what speaks home to you. So this could be uh, your children you're worried about, your partner, your siblings, or family members, or bills, or even the home itself. Uh, maybe that you find out that you're pregnant and you don't know if you're going to be able to afford it or if you're going to be able to do it or if you have the support. And Layla uh, and this card, they're both saying what you're worrying about. You've got to put the uh, worries down, meditate and have clarity and uh, confidence in your decisions. You might be burnt out or need rest at home. Maybe there's too many things, you know, um, maybe you care for someone, a Scorpio, maybe you work full time, uh, maybe you've got children that need to be run around and you've got a partner as well. And so there's just too much for you to think and, you, and you're, you're absolutely uh, exhausted. Um, there is a happy addition coming to the family, so there may be news of a pregnancy. So now we're finished with Scorpio, we are now going to Sagittarius.
Three cards for you. The answer is no. This is not the right time for what it is that you're going to be, uh, that you're asking or that you're wanting to do. You, uh, I hear you can't push it. You have to have transition, Sagittarius. You have to uh, wait. Uh, this is not the right time. There's news coming and you will find uh, the right time to do that. And the angels will help you, so ask for help. Now, you've got to have empathy. You've got to be able to um, comfort yourself and let others comfort you and see from the other person's point of view. But you need to look at your feelings and where this is going, uh, Sagittarius. Now, Mystique is saying, don't take no for an answer. Um, so maybe this is, is it over or will I get the, uh, is, is that it, it's final, whatever decision, whether that be family, relationships, uh, house, um, work, it doesn't matter. Because this card here is saying don't take no for an answer, that miraculous solutions will appear Sagittarius. So um, let's see what your tarot card is about. So it's the happy ever after card. So, you know, you might be trying to push things to get them done right now. And so you get a no and then that's it. You, you, you know, you think everything's over. But the answer is yes, this is a happy ever after for you, Sagittarius. So let's have a look at Capricorn. Capricorn, you have the Knight of Wands and this is to do with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. So this is love. You might meet someone new and you just feel amazing. This person is uh, traveled or has culture uh, or ha is well traveled uh, or from overseas or even online. And there's a great passion or chemistry between you. Uh, those that uh, have a crush or are newly dating and you're worried about um, you might be worried about if this is genuine or not or where it's going. This has got quick progress around it as well. Um, let's see your during virtue messages. Yeah, so it's miraculous solutions. Don't take no for an answer. Mirac this has come out for like four signs. So do check your sun, your moon, and your rising uh, Capricorn. So at work, um, to do with uh, going online, to expand, uh, or to travel, or to move, uh, whether it be relocating, changing jobs, to do with finances and study as well, you might decide to change your mind. You might decide to change your major. You might decide to change your loan. You might decide to get money from somewhere else because this card is success with wealth, success and quick progress with your finances and study. But there is something to do with uh, territory, relocation or experience and culture to do with that. At home, this is about being practical. Um, someone might be very determined and wants to you know, go for it uh, and you're worried and they're saying, don't worry about it, You know, everything will be okay. To do with finances, you are manifesting the life that you want and you're creating that change. Um, again, there may be re relocation or that on your mind. Um, or even um, redecorating as well. I say a lot of rewords, so I feel like this energy might be going right through to the Mercury retrograde. So let us go on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you've got two cards. You've got the X coming back and then you've got a um, offer. So uh, for those of you that don't have an X coming back on an offer, um, actually, we'll go with that one first. So you might hear from someone from the past who's offering you um, a um, an opportunity um, and you are deciding whether you want to take that or not. And this is about um, being stable. Those of you who are in a relationship already, you're going to get that next offer, uh, whether that be engagement, moving in together, making it official, changing Facebook status, uh, or even children, you know, children, children, getting pregnant, starting their children later. But others, this could be about families and an inheritance coming. Uh, and, and, and when, when the, you know, if there's an inheritance coming, um, families are getting together and going over memories. Um, this is money and practical help, tangible help, or, uh, you know, ethical moral um, advice given, um, and even, you know, physical help, Aquarius. So this is about coming together as a family and got the resources and the help that you need to help you. This is also a promotion and success. You're giving, you're getting offered 
more money. You're getting offered success. Um, this is about a bonus. This is about stability, prosperity, and promise. And you've got the path that leads to paradise. Now, to, this is a card from people past um, that bring you messages, sweet messages to show you the future. This card is also about being childlike, to have fun, remembering to have fun. This card is also about giving, fundraising, and helping, and being a mentor. This card is also about childhood memories and the past. So let us go on to Aquarius, uh, to Pisces. You have three cards. Okay, so someone's going to make a stand and put their foot down, Pisces. And this stand that they make, you need to stand your ground and be firm with it. And then you get an offer, and then there is that support from a partner. Also, if this is to do with work, if you're looking for a job, you will get a job. If this is about looking online, um, to do with finances and study as well, if you put yourself out there, it will be successful and quick success as well. Uh, this is also for people that are finishing exams or finishing their training. They're done now and they're looking out into the world and they get an offer. And that could be from overseas or it could be from the company that they want. But you're very passionate about and you're looking out. You've got your experience. You've got what you need. And now you're looking out into what you're going to do with it. This is also about delegation as well. Uh, delegating um to other people. Uh, money might be stalled, so you're looking uh, for other options, and then you get that other option. Uh, this is also about being on pins and needles, waiting for an answer. You've made a stance, and you're waiting for that answer, then you get the offer you want. And then the King of Cups is Pisces. Um, and it's about your intuition, it's about being firm with your emotions, it's about stable, stability with your emotions, it's about uh, perception, um, healthy disciplines, it's about being rock solid at uh, work or finances and study. There's also a ship coming in after some troubled rocky times, uh, emotional times, and there's also the, all these three cards are talking about um, taking a stand and having other options and getting what you want. So let's have a look at your Drawing Virtue messages from the Angels card. Zaina. Zaina is saying that your home, your domestic life, your domestic relationships, siblings, uh, family, um, anything to do with the home, whether you're worrying about finances, worried about the roof over your head, worried about um, having a home, that you are protected. And your emotional heart is rippling. So if you see this card, it's rippling out. So you have the emotional support. You you have people that are there willing to help you. You also feel safe. So if there's been any domestic violence or if there's been any worry about you know money and boarding things um, or worrying about someone in the home or worried about a relationship or family, that you are covered and the angels are looking after you for that. So I hope you have uh, liked that video. That is your mid-month reading for November. And I shall see you next week. Uh, be kind to you and those you love.